How's it going, Sohail? This is Alex with BMW Gainesville, and I wanted to make you a video on this X5 2018 so you have a better idea of what it looks like. I'll show you the exterior and then also some of the features inside as well. So here's the left side, and I'll go ahead and show you every side. To open the trunk, you can press that button on the key and hold it, or there's a clasp that you can press as well. Uh, here's what the trunk looks like. You have these, comes with these mats, all weather mats, so they're rubber. Um, and you have a cover. You can use to cover your items in the back as well. The seats also come down. And this vehicle has the most space. It's the biggest vehicle BMW makes. So uh, you have a lot of space there. And to close it, you can press that on the trunk. Okay, and now I'll show you the right side. Uh, that's where you're gonna find your gas cap. So open the gas cap, the car has to be unlocked and you just press it like that. There's no button you have to press on the inside. And then I'll quickly show you the front as well. So this car is a X535i, so that means it has a three liter, six cylinder engine. And now I'm gonna step inside the vehicle. Okay, so these little ridges right here means the key, uh, the vehicle is a uh, keyless entry. So if it's locked and you have the key in your pocket or something, you can just pull on the handle, it'll automatically unlock. And if you wanna lock it, you put your hand on the ridges, and it'll lock just like that. So now, I'm gonna pull on it, as, as, as you can see, it unlocked. Okay, now I'm in the inside. Um, here's the steering wheel right here, instrument panel. And then the, you have a nice brown interior. And an aluminum trim here that you can see it throughout the car. So on the steering wheel, you have uh, cruise control settings on the left, and then you have voice command settings on the right, as well as media settings. You also have two paddle shifters right there to shift gears. Here's where you're going to find your iDrive screen. Um, so that's the screen with all the menus on it. You can operate it with this controller right here. And you have different options for that. It's also a touch screen if you'd like to use that. And here's where your air controls are, as well as your safety features. And this one's going to have a lot of safety features. One thing I want to, one of my favorites is uh, blind spot detection. So that these triangles that are in the uh, rear view on the mirrors will light up when someone's in your blind spot, so you know not to change. Also, I wanna point out this thing right here, the miles per hour you see, that's a head-up display. So that'll add the, the miles per hour, how fast you're going, will actually actually display on your window. The same with the speed limit information, so you don't have to look down to see it. So that's really helpful to have. On the camera, it blinks, but in real life, it doesn't do that. I don't know why it does that on the camera. So, uh, here's the transmission, parking brake right there. Anytime you put the car in reverse, the HD, the HD quality backup camera is going to activate and you have parking assist lines and sensors that will help you out with that. Put it back in park. You have a middle compartment right here. In there you have a USB port and aux and then a class for your uh, wireless charging. And here's a view of the passenger side. And then a view of the back as well. Plenty of legroom back there. As I said earlier, it is the biggest BMW that's made right now until the X7 comes out. And there's also air vents back there as well. And so that's a basic overview of everything. I don't want to get into too much detail. I'll keep this video nice and short. Um, here's one more view of the exterior before I sign off. Um, and I hope you like this video. And I hope you found it informative. And hope to see you here soon. Thank you.